You gotta try it right in his butthole. All right, welcome to Amateur Out, episode I don't know anymore. 71. Nah, we were well into the 70s. I think we might be at 80 now. 72. I think this is 80. I don't think this is 80. I feel like I'm 80. That's different. Yeah. Well, we're here at Buffalo Wild Wings, recorded, of course, in the corner. Um, And uh, Cody, I'm here with Troy. I'm Troy. Hey, hey. Yeah. So... It's been a while since flag football was played. The last event we had was the first responders tournament, I yes. believe. Um, so it's been a couple of months, but we want to let you guys know that our next event will be the Winter Bowl 2022, held on February 5th and 6th in Lumberton. Uh, we're going to have a limited amount of teams, so if you want to sign up, sign up soon because we just can't take, you know, 20 teams for this thing. We, we don't want to be there for all day and all night two it, days in a row it is an all day all night thing when you have a lot of teams yeah so if you want to sign up for it go to the website setxfl.com um and it, it's just on the front page click on it and it's 225 dollars, and you're in kid so troy i don't know if you want to talk about this but i want to hear about it okay you just described to me the make it take it rule yes the make it take it gimmick Okay, so this is something we're thinking about. We haven't put it in place yet, but it's a thought. And if you guys want to comment on the this video, then please let us know your thoughts. But I'll let Troy tell everybody about Make It, Take It. Yes, I had an idea. In basketball, there's always a Make It, Take It. You, you score, you get the ball. You keep getting the ball until you don't score. I thought that would be cool to have a Make It, Take It rule in the Flag Football League where – Inside of two minutes, you can in, only it can either only be used half. Inside of two minutes, in either half, you you get one you won a game. You can if you score a touchdown within two minutes, you can in, you can invoke or whatever introduce <laughs> your make it take introduce, it rule. Like you that. have to have both of your timeouts still though, because when you if you have both of your timeouts. You can t- use the make it take it rule, but that that means you exhaust both of your timeouts. You do not have any more timeouts. So you you in, you introduce your make it take it rule. You get the ball at the twenty yard line where you would normally get it after the other team scores anyway. You hit one play to get a first down to get twenty yards. If you get the first down, then you get the ball. You continue the drive like normal. It takes four four downs to get another first down. If you don't get the first down. On the first play, the other team gets the ball wherever you were down. So basically, it's it could be advantageous to the defense for you to take it again because they may get the ball at the twenty yard line and have twenty yards to score. Uh, but it also could help you if you're down by seven and you just scored and you need to, you want another score yeah. to tie the game up. You get the ball back. It gives you like an additional hail mary. It's basically yeah. It's it's basically like you scored, you get the ball back, but you I mean, but you do it's. It's in your hands now. Right. You don't have to play defense to get the ball back. You get the ball back. But you have one play to get the first down. Do you think anybody would invoke this in the first half? I don't think it would be used in the first half. And I think it would be used rarely. There are I, – I, but I think, I mean, if you had the opportunity to get the ball back, wouldn't you take it? Well, yeah. I mean, if it's – if it's that's it. Here's how you have to win the game. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I, even I, if there's one second left on the clock – a play from the 20 is better than nothing. Then, so. Yeah, because if you score and then they get the ball back, it's over. I, so. I've known of a team before that got beat on a very last play from the 20 <laughs> in a game. I, I don't that, remember, yep. I remember which that team, team that was uh, happened that way. Yep, but I remember No, it. I think that's fun. I think that would be a fun idea. Um, so I thought of an idea uh, that basically, okay, you know how when you – when you when you run and they can pull your flag, yes. Then you know, when when both flags are pulled, you're down. Well, I think that it should just be one flag get pulled and you're down. 
You think they should only be able to one, – one flag is enough is what you're saying. Yeah, one, the one flag's enough rule. I'm tired of having to pull both or all three flags. Is that why you don't pull one flag at all? Because yeah, because I think it's useless. Because I mean, yeah, when's to that other both. flag going to get pulled? That's Is that our problem? Is that why we don't pull flags well? Because we know that pulling one's not enough? Wait, hang on. So one's enough? One is enough. No. Oh. Did you know that? You didn't know that? No, I didn't. One flag is enough. Okay. The one flag is enough rule. Well, I also think it would be a more fun sport if instead of if instead of just throwing the ball backward, you could also throw it forward. Are you trying to invent the forward pass? That's that's like saying, are you trying to invent something that's not been invented? It's a, well, it hasn't been invented yet. <clears throat> So are you? What are you trying to invent then? I just think that instead of pitching it backward, you should be able to pitch it or even throw it overhand forward. You can pitch it, and you can catch it, <laughs> and you can pitch ball. it, <laughs> and catch it. All these rule changes will go into uh, go into place very soon. Possibly the make it take it rule. Yeah, possibly. possibly we one. need to. We'll put it to a vote with the board members that were are absent today. The board has become very mysterious. The mysterious board. Yes. Uh, but we hope to meet with them in the coming week, and uh, we'll get that done. So other league pertinent news. Um, if you guys know of someone or you are someone who wants to go to the Fire Academy, um, EMS Academy, or Police Academy, please let them know that we are giving out $300 scholarships to three people. And all they'll have to do is submit some proof that they've applied to one of those academies and a letter describing the most influential person in their life and how they are uh, influenced by that person. Um, and we'll put information on Facebook and the website for, for forms like that. I know that you know when you're first starting out in those careers, money's tight, especially if you don't have a sponsor. So $300 will go a long way for books and everything else you need. So I hope to, we hope to kind of pick which person we're going or which people we're going to sponsor. Um, maybe in the next couple of months so you could have that money either for the rest of your spring semester or for the beginning of fall semester. So keep that in mind. Look out on the website. We'll put it up. I like it. I'm, I, that was – I like the reason – one of the main reasons why I like the first responders tournament is because of the donation aspect and now the scholarship aspect. We have a yeah. – I think that's very neat that – yeah, we're, we're, we're having fun – with the tournaments and with the league, but it also we are providing a service for certain individuals, and and I, it's just it's fun to give back in any capacity. But sure. but th- with ours, with a I'm air quoting flag football league. That's you know it's it's a recreational thing for adults to still sure. go play, but we're still giving back to people, and I, I enjoy that. It, it's it makes it it makes it worthwhile. It makes it fulfilling. Yeah, and I'm hoping that in the coming years, maybe in this year that we're, you know, 2022, maybe we could find some way to also just do general scholarships for people, even if it's $500. You know, if you're going to college right now, $500 helps get you a book or two, whatever, and maybe we can somehow finagle a few ways to raise some money and give some scholarships from the league because, you know, it's fun to play football, but I really do like the part where we – kind of do nice things for people yeah um, it's really neat to me but yeah so anything else on the flag football specific segment uh other than the the league starts late february early march is when yes. we're going to start the league the spring league spring league 22 yes 2022 that one, that one. yeah and uh shrimmer you want to do winter trimmer. bowl 2022 what Tr- trimmer to say trimmer that's what it sounded like. Did you say trimmer? I have no idea what I said. Well, anyway. I heard trimmer. Okay, let's let's move on from that. Um, if you want to do Winter Bowl 2022, right now is the best time to sign up because, uh, like I said before, we're only going to take so many teams. So get on there, pay the entry fee, and let us know, and we'll put you in. I'll guarantee you the herd will be there, and that means you've probably got to win. <laughs> Not if Chad Norsworthy has anything. Chad to Chad likes about. to play good play good defense. Wait, hang on. He's not going to be there. He's not? No. Chad. I mean, maybe for like it's, some of it. It's not, not even fun anymore. Sorry. 
Matt Wilson will be there, though, and his redneck foot. And his redneck foot and his children. Yes, who are, who the, are the best players who are the best on the team. Athletes on the team. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, stay tuned. We have a uh, music segment coming up that I think that you all will enjoy. Troy's musical question segment, part two. The return of the song. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. I don't even know if there was uh, music that time. It just might have been a minute of silence, a moment of silence. D- does the music just randomly get put on there, or do you actually pick a, a musical interlude? I pick one every time. One that <laughs> one that YouTube will let you play. Yes, and th- that <laughs> it's narrowing very quickly. Um, right now, it's between Benny Hill and this awful guitar riff. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, you can't do something like uh, Flight of the Bumblebees or something like that? Flight of the Bumblebees? Well, I guess, but it's becoming pretty popular. People are saying it's all the buzz. All right. All right, your segment. Go That's ahead. exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> it's Troy's question time. We did a musical question last time. It was like two months ago. So... We're back again, and I wanted to do another musical question. My question is, and usually I like to spring the question on Cody right at the last second so I get his initial reaction. This one I gave him some time to research. And what happened with that? And then, of course, Cody remembered for the first day and then forgot, because I told him this like several weeks ago. He immediately forgot after that. So he did his research as of today. So While my, drinking beer and eating wings. Yes. Because he said, what was it again? So, Like uh, an old man. Yeah. What, <laughs> Such huh? an old man. Huh? Go ahead. So, so my question was, what are your favorite lyrics from music from songs? Your favorite written, sung lyrics from any song? It, it could be, I've got a list of about, I don't know, 13 or so of different okay. songs that I have my favorite lyrics that when it comes on I sing that lyric well know? why don't you go first because I have fewer than you do okay he brought us condoms to use at the table yes thank you <laughs> these, are, these are excellent Grace what's that did you want a beer yeah I'll take another one. these are excellent regular yeah oh like yeah short one. yeah yeah I'm going to leave that in. Well, <laughs> I'm so confused. I didn't know what was going on. I thought he asked us if we wanted another beer. Well, I mean, a guy comes by and brings us condoms. Buffalo starts. Wild Wings branded condoms. Yeah. There's a big and, buffalo well, head on the, it. The funny thing about the condoms they give you here is they're not like a regular circular condom. It's like a penis sheet. You just sort of wrap it up like it's a little ghost. <laughs> I like to wear my condoms baggy anyway. And it stings and it smells like lemon. <laughs> it's like a it's like a medicated sheet. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh God. Okay. I have so, a lot more jokes about that, but I'll tell you to you later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So I just came up with songs that have lyrics that I just I, I enjoy. I like to sing them. They they have or they have some kind of they evoke some kind of emotion. Okay. Um. Most of them are like love songs or love lost songs, or sometimes they're just entertaining songs to me. Okay. So, um, so where should I start? Where should I start on my list? Let's see. How about I start with this? I'll start with this one. It's the opening okay. line of the song. It's the Kiss song, I Just Wanna. I Just Want It. Okay. I Just Wanna. Okay. And the opening line, it doesn't come, it doesn't start with any music. He just comes in with the lyric. And the lyric is. I've got a body built for sin and an appetite for passion. Oh. When you're 16 years old and you hear that, that's your entire life. Got and a body built for sin and, and an, an appetite, appetite for, for passion. passion. And that's how the song starts. Although I feel like that should be switched. I have a body built for passion and an appetite for sin 
actually to me makes more logical okay. well, sense. Well, anyway, when you hear That's that, okay. when I, you hear that, yeah. and you're on the road and you're driving, you're like, yes, yes, I am. I have <laughs> Where all are you on that. the road driving to? Wherever. A trailer inviter? Wherever you're going. But yeah. yes, that's like a, you hear that, I heard, hear that, it's no music playing just that, it's him singing that at the very beginning. And it's like, oh, what? yes, that's me. That is me 100% when you're a teenager. You've always been a very sexual creature. <laughs> I almost said sexual predator. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, so. Uh, that's, that's my first one. Uh, my first one is we got no class and we got no principles. We got no intelligence. And we can't even think of a word that rhymes. That's schools out by Alice Cooper. I was, yeah. Because I think that's pretty awesome. Like, no class, principles, like puns. And I just thought that was a cool-ass song. That's that's one of those classic songs where you're you feel that you feel that emotion of that when you're in school. You want to be out all the time. It was much cooler to me when I was in school because now I'm like, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, so so what? <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, what you got? All right. Um, we mentioned Piano Man last week when, or last time. You said Piano Man was the best song ever. Yeah. And we've just we 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 came down on that one. So, but the one of the lines in Piano Man, which is one of my favorites, is when he's. It's a very long song, but he gets to the one, the final verse really, and he's talking about. It says the man. He said where he's playing piano in a bar, and he says the manager gives him a smile because he knows that it's me they've been coming to see to forget about life for a while. Yeah. What a great line! Like, oh yeah, you're, you're the you're the man in this little dive bar playing the piano, and he know the manager's having a great time because all these people are in here because of you. And he says he says it's a pretty good crowd for a Saturday, and the manager gives me a smile, but he knows because he knows that it's me. They've been coming to see to forget about life for a while. Wendy, how many times you go to a show and just you don't care about anything else? You're just there to have a good time, and that's what it's about. Well, I I like Billy Joel songs because. He writes them in a way that you're, you don't really even think about what went through the lyric process. You're just like, oh, that just sounds good. Yeah. And it's like this notion that if you do everything just right, people will wonder if you did anything at all. And like by the time you're done with the song, you're like, that was just really good. Like, yeah. It wasn't hard to understand. The music was appropriate. You know, it wasn't like this. Like you don't have to sit there and deeply think about a lot of Billy Joel songs. No. They're just really good. Your turn. All right. So this is from an outcast song called The uh, uh, War. And I just thought it sounded cool. I got to find the, the right one. There's, I just skipped past it. Oh, I've, I've messed this all up. Um, what the hell am I doing here? Okay. There will be tom- uh, no tomorrow but sorrow and horror. Uh, I can't even say this shit. Okay, politicians, modern day magicians, physicians of death, more health care for poor health. Who's making us ill? That was in night. That was in two thousand one or two thousand two. How, like, how pertinent it's is real. that today? That's today. That's exactly and today. I, and I, yeah, I just like turn red on reading because it it's like it's really good, and I can't. Yeah. Uh, what? I can't rap or sing, but. That, that song was so good to me because it was like 2002 or 2003, I think, when I heard it. And we were in Iraq and Afghanistan, and I was all aboard. Like, Outkast has some fantastic lyrics. They do. They're a, they're a great songwriting group. They really are. Yeah, um, but I, I just thought that's a 20-year-old song. And it's like nail on the head, you know. And I never even thought about that stuff back then because I was young and healthy and didn't. Yeah. I mean, I'm lucky enough to have insurance and really not have to worry about that stuff. But man, I didn't know. Um, so that that was another lyric that made my list. I like it. That's good. That because it's it it. Think of how far we have not come in 20 years. Yeah, but Jeff Bezos uh, flew to the moon in a penis. <laughs> in a penis <laughs> inside of a penis. Well, we can't beat that. He penetrated space. <laughs> <laughs> and time. It was a threesome. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> okay, next one is, uh, let me find, I've got the lyrics kind of scrambled here. Let me see. That's not it. Was that it? That's not it. Um, 
Okay, the song Plush by song Stone Temple Pilots. Crush? Plush. Plush. I like Plush. Stone, the, the, only, the line that I like the most is, the, the, it just goes, these are the eyes of disarray. I don't... I don't know what that means. I do like that, that line. line. Yeah. I sing that as loud as possible. And, I do too. I, and these are the eyes of disarray. What? Don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah, Love I have that no lyric. idea. Well, Stone Temple Pilots' uh, lead singer was quite strange, and I think he's mentally ill. As, he's dead as Good Friday. Is he dead? I didn't know that. Okay. All right, I'll give you a short one too. Then that's what she said. <laughs> um, Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. <laughs> because it, it, if it comes on. Everyone does that. I must that. sing it. Like, I cannot not sing Sweet and Caroline. And that's not, the bop, bop, not even in the song. That's just no, the music. No, what people but do. Everyone but I'm including it, yeah. it because that's what I sing. That is a, it's a classic lyric. So there you go. That's, that, I don't have anything I, else I like to say it. other than I enjoy it. I like it. Okay, um, let's see. Cult of Personality by Living Color. Oh, yeah, that's a good song. The song's about basically all these... Not Joseph Stalin, Kennedy. Kennedy, and all these politicians and, and leaders that create a cult of personality, basically, of, of what their culture is. And in one of the lines, he says, you, you gave me power and gave me your God's name. That's incredible. For, think, about what, think about that today, what politics are like in America today. Yeah. We are beholden to Biden or Trump or whoever. And think about it. That's the power they well, have. I, I would disagree with one of those only because I think even Biden's people hate him. But uh, <laughs> you don't think Trump's people hate him too? <laughs> no, I think they oh, would they, suck no, his I'm dick. I'm saying like his his people that work for him probably hate the shit out of him. Oh they, yeah, but they can't say that. Yeah, it's a different sort of uh, yeah authoritarian thing. Yeah. For one, everyone outwardly just says they hate the old man. For the other. Yeah, they can't say that because it's North Korea rules. Yeah. <laughs> but I just thought that line makes so much no, sense. No, it's yeah, you're right, and because it's probably the, always been that yeah, way. Yeah, because I think mean, about yeah. how you people fall into things and just they can't, they never get out because that's how power builds. And America's sure. never been like that until well recently. And it, well, I think we've up and down on that, and you and I are kind of history people. Um, and I think we've got, like, I think Andrew Jackson had a little bit of that. You know, I, I don't want to get into all that. Yeah. We could have this discussion because yeah. I would enjoy That'll it. That'll be so a different we'll, podcast. We'll be, the, we'll be the, the back end here. All right. So I'm going to read this one at length because it it needs it. I like how you don't tell me the song. You just start in on the lyric, and then I have to well, kind of find out what it is. Yeah, that's the way I do this. You do it. Do it your way. Mailboxes drip like lampposts in the twisted birth canal of the Coliseum. <laughs> Rim job fairy teapots mask the temper of tantrum. Oh, say can you see stuffed cabbage in the darling of the laundromat and sorority mascot sat with the lumberjack. Pressing, passing, stinging, half synthetic fabrication of his time. The mouse with the overbite explained how rabbits were ensnared in skinny, scanty sylph trash the ap- the apothecary diplomat inside the three-eyed monkey within inches of his toaster oven life. <laughs> what is that? That was on Dewey Cox when <laughs> Dewey Cox was... Yes. Uh, Walk sick. hard. Walk hard. That's the song. Listen, That's his, the song where he's the epic song. That was yes. the Bob Dylan yes, song. Yes, okay. Because I, I knew some of that sounded familiar. That, I couldn't picture it. That is one of my favorite parts of any movie I've ever seen. <laughs> and um, I can't remember. Phil, Phil Meadows or Glenn. I can't remember I guess his name. Uh, the, the black guy in the movie. Tim uh, Meadows. Tim yeah. Meadows. Was there going. They're just like, what's, what's, what's he singing? What's Dewey singing about? He's like, man, I don't know. <laughs> he had... He had goats and stuff all in the, the studio. He had it like it was an entire thing, the epic <laughs> it's like song. the yeah. silliest thing in the world. But that those are some of my favorite song lyrics that is ever. That so there you go. There's nothing else to that other than I just enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm glad you sat there and listened to it, though. I was reading along, and I was like, good Lord, what is that? I was like, it sounds, first of all, I thought, well, that's a rap song. Well, nope, that's not no, a rap no. song. Yeah. That is the epic song. Um, okay, let's see. How about One Headlight by the Wallflowers? Oh, man, I love that song. My favorite lyric from that song is where he says, I turned the engine, but the engine didn't turn. Yeah, that's a good lyric. I don't lyric. know what, uh, how that, that, from when I heard that part of that song, I was like, oh, that sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. 
I mean, that's a good lyric, though. Yeah, like, like, I turned the engine, but the engine didn't turn. That's, oh, I love it. I Fantastic. love the Wallflowers. They're, you know, they had several songs besides that one that I liked. I mean, yeah. yeah. But, okay. I, like, this is going to get a little, uh, a little specific. I don't know how many people will know these bands. Okay. So. Um, I like a band called the Decemberists, and they have a song called the Bandit Queen, which is about this uh, woman named Fulan Raji in India who uh, started a re- revolution, did all kind of other stuff. And I've lost where it was on here because, well, you know, I'm just not so good at this scrolling through things. Hopefully, I'll keep talking well, until you got I that, find it. Okay, there you we got go. That double. F- Double fist and phone. (laughs) Okay, so in this song, like, it's about this woman who's a criminal or whatever. And it says, In sitting up, she adjusts her turban and takes another swig from a bottle of bourbon and listening to the whistling of the train and station, odds are it'll never reach its destination. And I just think in, like, four sentences, you just get this big idea of a person. You're like, she adjusted a turban, took a big drink of whiskey, and you know that a train's going to get blown up. And it's been, like, eight seconds. So I like that. That's I like that. That's pretty good. It's a good song. That's pretty good. I like that. I can play it on ukulele if you'd like. I, well, let me. It's hear on my it, CD. Let me hear it first. <laughs> no, like, no, no. You don't want to do that. <laughs> That's a good. I like that. I like how it's they say, char- how you build a character in a yeah. movie or a, a song. That character's built. Yeah, I, I thought it was cool. So what you got? Let's see next. Um, Joe Walsh, Life's Been Good. I love that song. The part that my dad always said, this is this reminds me of you, is when he says, I can't complain, but sometimes I still do. Yeah. <laughs> he says, that's you. He said that to me a long he time ago. He said that to you, that you can't, like, about you? Yeah, or, he's, he's, okay. oh, yeah he said, this is you. I, said, I can't complain, but sometimes I still do. Yeah. He said, that's you. <laughs> so I'll always remember that. Did he say it that. with a smile or... In a very if it was uh, my dad, if he was manner. talking to me about something uh, about me, probably not a smile. He's probably <laughs> upset with me. Yeah, so, yeah. I can't well, complain, but sometimes I still do. And to think about that. Like that's a lot of people in this world. Yes, we complain so, about a lot of stuff, but we don't need to. I've I've always thought this was a cool. So, Ludacris used to be one of my favorite uh, musicians, and there was a song called "Coming to America" that I liked. So this was my favorite lyric from that song. You see, you see, you all got it wrong like women in tuxedos and can up, coming up shorter than five Danny DeVitos. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a cool ranch getting laid more than Fritos with five strippers, four wives, and three amigos. <laughs> <laughs> and I could have picked, like, that whole song because it's just hilarious. <laughs> it's, like, really, like, one-liners, like, stand-up comedy type. <laughs> corny humor but in a rap song and I just thought it was awesome <laughs> you, you can't go wrong throwing in a Danny DeVito reference in no. any song <laughs> coming up shorter than five Danny DeVitos is so funny <laughs> to me <laughs> and it goes five four three two one because five Danny DeVitos and then it's like five strippers four wives and three amigos that's and good so that's I good. just thought it was cool that's pretty good I like that uh, let's see my next one is from, uh, these are starting to get into the uh, kind of sappy, or not sappy, but. Yeah, well, we like need that. Tre- we need to. Treating. We need to wind people down. Tr- I, I call these truthful. Okay. More truthful lines. Okay. So this one is from Far Behind by Candlebox. I like that song. It's where. I think I've known every song so far that you've said except for uh, the Kiss song. I'm not, okay. I don't know that one. Yeah. No, that's pretty. That happens a lot. I'm gonna listen to it in my car, though. Okay, so this one, the line where he says, uh, "I didn't mean to treat you oh so bad, but I did it anyway." Yeah. That, that's just that's that's just how. To I me, think that's the best version of that thought of any song that tried to express it. Yeah, I did because a bunch of songs try to say that. Yeah, but I think that's the. Best. I didn't mean to treat you oh so bad, but I did it anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much how we live our life, and with anything, with with people that we love. Yeah, we end up we love people. We don't want to treat them bad, and sometimes we just do. I say that to my body all the time. <laughs> yes, exactly. See, <laughs> yep. Okay, so this is from Don Williams. 
Um, and so I believe in you. My favorite part of that is um, that right is right and left is wrong and the north and south can't get along, that east is east and west is west, and that being first is always best. But I believe in love and I believe in you, you know. But like Don Williams is oh, well, I believe in babies. I believe like, in like he <laughs> and like it's funny because at the end of like you know his whole thing like i believe in babies well it's how he delivers it too he yeah. delivers it so soulful like yeah. the song is very soulful and i and the way he says i believe in you it's so it's a it's a beautiful line the way he delivers oh it. yeah all right what you got let's see next to us okay um this one here is this it's basically the whole song but my favorite part is the last two lines of the song it's uh let me see if I can get to it. It is let me delete that. It is uh Won't Get Fooled Again by the Who. I like that song. And the reason Oh, I know what you're talking about. Go ahead. I Well, it's the reason why let me see if I can get to if I even have it on here. Uh shit. Anyway, the last line this whole song is about basically it's about how the, there are people in charge. The world's changing, yeah. and, and you're basically it's a, it's almost like a, a pop, apocalyptic world, and you're li- and everything you don't know what's going to happen. There are new leaders coming in, and the song is "I won't get fooled. We won't get fooled again. Yeah, we're not going to let this happen to us." And then there's this long musical interlude. There's guitars playing, and then it's it's a lo- very long song, and then it gets to the end. You think the song is over, and then he has that big scream, and then he goes into the last two lines, which is. Here comes the new boss, or here's the new boss, same as the old boss. That's the end of the song. Yep. Like I know, yeah, we're, I like we're not that. gonna get fooled again. And then here's this change. It's the same thing. Yes, I thought that was excellent. I mean, this whole song is about we're gonna yeah. we're gonna beat the system. We're gonna change. Yeah, things. And are then bad, there's but we're nothing else. Like it's just yeah. Here comes the new boss, same, same as, as the, the old boss, boss and burr, nothing else. Burr, That's just burr, done. And the song's <laughs> over. It's like so, what a. It's that's still today. It's the same thing today. Yeah, uh, especially if you live in like uh, Russia, they only get one boss every sixty years. Though. <laughs> yeah. them, so there's a, a band called Doctor Dog that's probably my favorite band, and really my favorite song of them is a song called From. And the the end of the song, I think it's about this guy's belief or disbelief in God or something. But at the end, he says, oh, my God. And then, like he says, he listens to me. Um, and he, uh, even when I'm not talking out loud. And then he quotes God. And he says, oh, my God. He says, there's there's a happy birthday celebration behind me. It's not part of the yeah. song. Happy birthday is not on our list of favorite lyrics. All right. Hang on. All right, we're back. I have to uh, take two there. So anyway, this Dr. Dog song I like, um, he says, he quotes God, he says, oh my God, and he says, my son, now listen to me, and listen while the listening's good. You're not my son, but you know my love. It ain't easy, and it ain't the type to give up and die. That's not my love. And I thought, what an interesting conversation between this guy and God like God's like you're not my son but just listen yeah um, you know my love's not easy it's not the time to go up and die and that to me is a much better version than the God that I've been yeah. given my whole life and I thought I like that like you know it's like you're not my son it, now hang on it almost <laughs> feels like something spiritual happened with the writer of the song like that seems yeah. like real personal like something that could have possibly happened before a conversation that he had with well, a, with a p- higher power at one they time. have a lot of songs like that and i i don't know what the person's beliefs are but i had never thought about you know if you ever met god because i was raised as a christian if you ever met god going and him going you're not my son we're not even related but i'm okay yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a a good friend of an uncle, maybe. Yeah, the, not not that kind of uncle, but no, no, no. Like a well, the uncle could be shitty, but the friend is okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's see. Um, the song uh, "Garden Party" by Rick Nelson. 
and I'd, I'd never heard this song before till my, my dad this, my dad brought this song he said this line before and I was like oh that's such a good line and he said it's from this song Garden Party and the line is you can't please everyone so you've got to please yourself yeah it's about, it's about a guy going back and he's a, he's a real famous singer now and he's going back and seeing all of his friends and they all think he's you know he, he's good he's this great guy and hey yeah. why don't you hand out how about a handout you know and he's you can't please everyone, so you've got to please yourself. And think that's something that I would really wish I could do in my life. Yeah, I mean, that is a hard thing to get to. Yeah. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. And I kind of think the people who don't struggle with that may be assholes. And, and <laughs> I've been known to be an asshole because yeah. I do I – do, so try to subscribe to that, as, and it, sometimes I shouldn't. But think of that: if you, you, and and please think of and when, with the line, think about that. Maybe pleasing someone else does please you. Doing things for other people may be good for you. Maybe what pleases you. So well, sure. you can't I mean, please everyone. So you've got to please yourself. There's right? like a weird so altruism. It, yeah, like, so are you doing it, it just so you feel better about yourself? Yeah, thing. It may not. It may not technically be a selfish thing. It sounds like a selfish line, but it could possibly yeah. not be a selfish line. Sure. I like that. Yeah. Who's the band? That's Rick Nelson. Rick Nelson. Is it Slick Rick Nelson or just regular just, Rick just Nelson? Ricky, Ricky Nelson. Well, this one's pretty short. Um, and the song that I like is called Oxford Comma by um, Vampire Weekend. These guys are a, a bunch of guys who went to Harvard, or at least the lead singer did, and I think they were all kind of Ivy League people. So their songs are kind of nerdy. And this one is uh, Oxford Comma, and my favorite part is why would you lie? Why would you lie about how much coal you have? Why would you lie about something dumb like that? Which is a reference to how you would use an Oxford comma in a sentence. Because if you said, "I have 50 pounds of coal, steel, and iron," would you go comma after coal, comma after steel, and then iron, or would you go 50 pounds of uh, coal, comma steel and iron with no comma? Which would sort of change the meaning, but not for anybody who. Because the steel and iron would be fifty yes, pounds each. but not right, for together. somebody who's. Uh, Who gives a fuck about right? Oxford so comma? That's, that's, that is, that's the. I know. You know what? I feel like you've heard that song before. Yes. Uh, and I don't. I never subscribed to the Oxford comma until recently. I started using the Oxford comma. Well, Again, I never did in, from I mean, high school all the way look, till now until. When the chorus of a song is "Who gives a fuck about an Oxford comma," you kind of got me. It might. You might be playing bongos and a damn sitar. I'll listen to it. Okay, here, go ahead. <laughs> that is a good. That is a good one. That's good. I like that one. Um, Possum Kingdom by the Toadies. I guarantee <laughs> yeah. you, this is the most. Let me see if I can find it in my notes here. I may not the even. Girls have like it. that song a lot. I'll tell you, it has the most honest line in any any recorded music of all time. And the line is, it's right at the very beginning, where he says, "I'm not gonna lie. I'll not be a gentleman." <laughs> yeah. That is the most honest line. Especially if you're about to kill a lady. I Whatever mean, he's going to do to her. Yeah. But well, I mean, if he were about to buttle her, I think, if I he think were going to buttle her, he would be but lying. He didn't He didn't give her any, like, oh, no, it's going to be fine. No. Nah. I'm not going to lie. I'll not be a gentleman. That's Which would have made him the worst killer in the world. Because to really kill someone, you should lie and say you're going to be a gentleman. That's why he, he got caught. He, made, he carved her out of ice, apparently. Yeah, he did. That music video. <laughs> okay, there's a song called Dirty World by uh, TV on the radio. And I thought the first lines of it were awesome. And it was, uh, there's a murderess amongst us. Her love is a violent spiral hurling in upon us, conjured up at the birth of the world. And I thought, I never thought I would hear that in a song. <laughs> like, what? who does that? Say, say it one more time. I want to hear it again. You okay. kind of went a little faster. There is a murderess amongst us. Her love is a violent spiral hurling in upon us, conjured up at the birth of the world. Oh, God. That's that's either way deep or... Well, the, it's, the rest of the song is just like that. And it's like... Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to hang on to this for a minute. But the rest of the song is just like that. And... Like every single little lyrical thing, you're like, how's this dude doing this? And I think his whole thing is that this woman is just the ruin of him. 
she's and that's it could be yeah it could be not talking about the actual beginning of the world but the beginning of his world with her yeah well, i think he, he was saying in this that she's so manipulative and bad for him that whatever happened to her happened at the start of the earth yeah. which is four and a half <laughs> billion years ago that's good there's a a damn amoeba back then that was like, I'm going to fuck this guy over. That's it. That leads me to my next song. Okay. Which is Only by Anthrax. Only by Anthrax? Only. Okay. Well, the song's Only by the band Anthrax. And I'm a, this one's actually a little longer. So this is how the li- some of the lines go. It's revolve around yourself. It's you and no one else. It's hard for me to stay. Swinging moods that change from calmness to deranged. Unpredictable. Unpredictable. Uh, clashing ways to live here compromised for me I'm at both ends of the spectrum and you're somewhere in between like it's a, so, it's basically two people that do not work well together no well one and, person it sounds like is normal and the other person yeah. is yeah uh, which one bipolar which one that's what I'm saying she she's well, the, the person who stays in between is okay yeah. the one who he says he's wildly at, he says he said all encompassing both ends of the spectrum she's somewhere in between but she it's it's with her it's it's you and no one else you, know, you revolve around yourself so oh. how what yeah. it's, it's basically two people that just do not mix at all I just think that's I a, like that that's cool with swinging moods that change from calmness to deranged she sounds insane but he could also be interpreting that as she's like that and she's not well so. crazy people are bad at interpreting the normal yeah, exactly <laughs> Uh, for this one, I, there's a band called Flowbots, and they're like this weird kind of rappy type band. Uh, Tatiana introduced me to them, and when we were first going out, uh, somehow, at least twice or three times, we talked about cherry stems, and I said I could tie a knot in a cherry stem, and then she would say, "Well, I know I can tell you a lot about Leif Erikson." Well, I thought that she was just being random. But oh, this is a, a lyric, lyric of a song. song. That's great. So the lyric is, I can tie a knot in a cherry stem. I can tell you about Leif Erikson. I know all the words to Valcolorus, which I don't know what that means. Yeah. Uh, me and my friends saw a platypus. Me and my friends made a comic book. And guess how long it took. I can do anything I want because look. <laughs> That's great. That's great because it's it a has, neat song. Well, it, not just that, it, it has personal meaning for you too. That's pretty well, cool. The name of the song is Handlebars, and like the chorus is, "I can ride a bike with no handlebars," <laughs> and it's just entertaining as hell. It's good when you have a song that it's personal to yes, you like that. Yeah. That is that is one of my personal things. That's good. This Leslie one, and I had some personal songs too. I won't go yeah, into that. Yeah, though. they were all yeah, a lot of bass. You yeah, a lot of bass. No, no, no. It was lyrics. all about that bass. All about that bass. Uh, this next one is. I'm going to try to read as much of the song as possible because the whole song is basically. I would say it. It's our life, basically. Okay. It's our lives, our adult lives. Okay. It's out of hand by Gary Stewart. All right. It goes. I never intended to even know your name, except for the woman waiting at home. They've all been the same. I've always been true except for you, not even a one-night stand, and I never intended for it to get so out of hand. And then the chorus, out of hand, out of hand, I'm a hard-living kind of man. I need more to keep me going than this gold wedding band. You're my kind of woman, and I'm your kind of man. Maybe that's the reason it got so out of hand. I never intended for it to go this far. I don't think I can get off from where we are. Some time to waste, so just a taste was all that I had planned. <laughs> I never intended for it to get so out of hand. Now that guy gets it. <laughs> that guy understands. <laughs> he, <sighs> I mean, not that I've ever done anything like that in my whole life. Yes. But that man knows what he's talking about. <laughs> he should be, he should get the Nobel Prize. That, it, that's that's or, a fan, or, or the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Prize. Well, he did blow his brains out yeah, like all 20 years ago. Stuff. I oh, well. I mean. They can hang a, the metal on his what shoulders. What a song. Yes. Mm. Well, I also like that. I don't have any more lyrics, but I like that Randy Travis had that song where it was like, uh, on the other hand. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but on the other hand on is a golden band. Hand. I have two more. Okay, go ahead. All right. The next one is. 
is by Audio Slave, Light My Way by Audio Slave from their first album. And it's one little passage in the middle of the song, which is similar to all these other little love songs, where he says, A bullet is a man, from time to time he strays. I compare my life to this, to this I relate. And I'm willing to listen to your answers, and I'm not afraid to tell you that I need you today. That sounds like a person who kind of wants his cake and eating it too. He's he's fucked up. He needs he, but he knows where he needs to be. He, he knows, knows he, he knows be. he'll mess up again. Yeah, but a, That's what from, bullets do? They they stray. Strays. You can't <laughs> hit the target every time. You, yep, you hit some target. <laughs> My last one. Go ahead. This is my favorite line ever written of any song ever. Okay. This is from uh, Blind as a Bat by Meatloaf. Okay. And the line is, uh, And I wish that I could give you something in return for the precious time you wasted on the tears I've never earned. (laughs) That is quite a powerful line. I mean, I've caused you all this pain and tears, and I... I wish that I could do something for you. I am. I am. Yeah. Well, for, well, let me finish the whole the rest of it. This okay. Is, and I wish that I could give you something in return for the precious time you wasted on the tears I've never earned for reaching out to help me cross the bridges that I've burned. Yeah, that is a very sad lyric. I mean, just it's 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 a guy that's just all right. This is me. This is what I'm. I want to give you what I can give you. I can't take back what I did, but I want to. I mean, wish, I wish I could help do better for you. I wish I could be better for yeah, you. Yeah, um, I think that's great. This has been very fun. I I wish I had done a better job because you did a much better job than I did. I don't think um, so. I think you did a very good job. I liked all of yours. But, you know, if you guys uh, you know, who are listening, if you all want to have a fun conversation with your friends, doing stuff like this is really cool. Like... You know, we all talk about sports and all this other stuff. When you get people into songs and lyrics, like you really do learn a lot about your friends. And I strongly recommend it. And I'll give you one more thing. If you hung in there this long, which probably about uh, almost an hour into the podcast, if you will post your favorite, uh, uh, the favorite lyrics to your favorite song or a song you like in the comments, the first five people can get a T-shirt. I like it. So if you'll do that, you can get a T-shirt, no problem. We'll see you on... February 5th. Is that a Saturday? That is a Saturday, Saturday in 2022. February 5th, yes. 2522. Anything else? I think I've said everything that I, I wanted to say that to you. That was good. That was weeks. excellent. I loved it. I well, deleted all that now. I, 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 it's gone. It's a burden now. It's gone. It's, it's not even gone. in the cloud. It's not, the, it's, the cloud it's has rained back to the world and it's in a hydro plant now. The cloud blew away to... Louisiana. Okay. Well, we wish you all the success. Hashtag don't and good luck.